Hello everyone and now welcome to game number two in this series and so far Orc taking a little bit of an advantage here as we are looking at a Xiao Shi Shi spawning as the blue night elf meanwhile a super BT spawning as the teal orc will we be able to um, even up the series at one game apiece or will we be taking a very very large lead Let's go ahead and figure out what's going to be going down here as we see the orc spawning at the 9 o'clock location and the night elf spawning at the 3. Now, this is going to be full crossbonds here. And with full crossbonds, you should be able to creep out this um, green creep camp and even maybe this blue creep camp by yourself without facing that much pressure. Meanwhile, the orc is going to be coming straight inside here and going straight after this ogre magi. No, wait, no. He's going to be completely leaving that alone and apparently taking his opponent's sides of the creep, taking down this ogre warrior creep camp, and he wants to pretty much take his opponent's creeps because he knows that creeps are essentially a resource that you do not want to let your opponent have. Creeping a little bit away from your home does have its inherent difficulties. You can get caught. You can, your units could end up getting caught in transit as well. There is a little bit of risk there, but during the early stages, not too bad if you're able to um, do and get the necessary um, kills off early. All right, Demon Hunter sitting at level two. Meanwhile, Blade Master going after the Ogre Warrior here may be able to pick up another very very useful item we'll see what it's going to be it's going to be a circuit of, of nobility so two circuits of nobility are ready off the bat as the blade master now heads off to the north all right there goes a wisp there as the demon hunter now attempting to finish off the ogre magi and hoping to grab a, a sentry ward right here also being able to keep track of that blade master wherever he wanders around all right ring of regeneration a rather um, what i find to be a very very useful item most likely he will sell the cloak of shadows dust of appearance he may keep for a little while longer and then this becomes the big question is the ring of regeneration worth holding on to and um, i've seen a lot of players sell it i've seen a lot of players hold on to it gonna be a, a rather difficult call to make as the demon hunter is still regenerating those hit points very very quickly Blade Master is still sitting at level 1, attempting to finish off the Ogre Warrior Creep Camps at the 12 o'clock location. Meanwhile, Orc is setting up more Orc Burrows, and we are pretty much looking at the, uh, the mid-early game here. Both sides just being able to construct their own bases and their tech in peace, just because of the size of the map and how difficult it can be at times to really shut down your opponent from playing his style of game. All right, Demon Hunter, mana burning out that Blade Master. Blade Master down to 122. Dust of Appearance is still on there. There is a Dust of Appearance charge, but it was not, did not catch anything at all. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter may try to mana burn here. No, no mana burn. There's a mana, well, mana burn there. Uh, the mana burn stopping the healing salve, I believe, as another one was forced to be used. All right, Archers sitting in the center portion of the map we'll see where that follow-up play is going to be quill beast on the beast master already um without any hesitation we are going to be trying to focus down and stop the those famous tech buildings as they're being built if you're able to delay them um, for any amount of time you really just get a small victory as your opponent is not going to be able to deal with your druids of the talent all that much All right, continuing the fight here. Dust of Appearance, making sure Blade Master is not nearby. Sentry Ward looks like it was now dropped down. Blade Master is here trying to finish off a Quill Beast. Are we going to see it getting taken out? Oh, there's a Manor Burn pretty much shutting down that Blade Master already as the units are now walking back. All right, let's see what's going to be happening here. Demon Hunter, Quill Beast, now ready to go. Demon Hunter now heading off to what I will call the center 3 o'clock expansion location. Ancient of War going to absorb a lot more damage once more, and he is fighting relatively close to home. However, the Orc player being much more aggressive in his creeping, attempting to take down the level 6 Forest Troll Warlord camp with a whole bunch of level 3s as well. This red creep camp does drop very, 
useful items, but a Scourge Bone Chime is exactly what the Doctor ordered there, as it is going to give a very, very big damage mitigation edge, essentially, for all of those Orc units, save for anyone with range, and I'm looking at you, Spirit Walkers. All right, Demon Hunter now ready to uh, come inside there. There's another mana burn there. So far, Demon Hunter still seeing that level two, unable to do very much. Blade Master is continuing this fight here, and it looks like the Blade Master may be able to do a little bit more. Grunt now going to get taken down. There goes the Grunt now, as the Blade Master and the Beast Master still going toe to toe. Demon Hunter trying to finish off one poor Grunt. Grunt looks like it will get taken down. Yes, it will. As now the Archers are running for the hills. Speed Scroll. And it looks like the Torn Chieftain is going to finish off that Archer there, giving level 2, or excuse me, level 3, level 2 Shockwave. No, wait, level 2. Just level 2 right now on the Orc, so not that very high in level. Meanwhile, Beastmaster and Demon Hunter seeing that level 2, level 1, respectively. Both sides ready to go. They are going to be recouping inside their bases here in just a moment. Druids of the Talon already being added. Mastery training is, should be right around the corner. 29 over 50. Druid of the um, Druid Tree of Eternity now done. We sh should be waiting for it. There it is. Mastery training. Perfect timing on that. What I believe to be second Ancient of Wind. Back over here. Torrin Chieftain looking to clear up the gargantuan sea turtles gonna be able to pick up a very useful item hopefully or most likely looking for a potion of healing or potion of greater mana and it is going to be a potion of invulnerability also one of the powerful items that is on a blade master if the blade master goes unchecked for 15 or even 30 or even 15 seconds things can go um wrong very very quickly as we are now looking for this upcoming fight All right, remaining creep camps pretty much getting cleared out. Only one significant creep camp is left. This one off over here. The remaining red creep camps are getting... No, wait, no, it is not getting cleared out. Just going after a very, very easy um, green creep camp there. Not quite sure if he's using that time very wisely, but perhaps wants to shut down his opponent's expansion before it gets started. Quill Beast doing its best to... Go ahead and finish off the Great Hall. Great Hall already taking a fair bit of damage. As you see, a little bit of an engagement now coming into play. All right, there is a Cyclone. Raiders are going to end up falling. There goes one Raider Mana Burn onto the Torn Chieftain. Torn Chieftain may be able to get off another Mana Burn. Rune of Healing, beautifully placed, beautifully used to save all of those units there as the Blade Master is attempting to just try and retreat with those units. All right, back over here, Quill Beast continuing the pressure down this Great Hall. This great hall about to fall. And however, I do believe it will just end up being canceled in order to buy time. All right, Tome of Intelligence plus two. Blade Master is right there. Both sides are fighting. There is the disenchant. There's the mana burns. All right, Pocket Factory now out. Torn Chieftain now trying to fight here. Blade Master looking to finish off the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter now still causing a little bit of problems. Are we going to be seeing this one, um, this one Torn Chieftain be able to make it out? Down to 186 hit points. Very low. But it looks like it will be able to make it out as the Demon Hunter pretty much has nowhere to go. And oh, there's a mana burn there. Down to two hit points. It must have been at one. And wow. That Torrent Chieftain survives ever so barely. Meanwhile, more units now are in a big, big rush back. Beastmaster, Stabs of Preservations, back the Demon Hunter, as the Demon Hunter should be coming back here in just a moment, just waiting for the teleport. All right, Beastmaster falls at level two, chasing a little bit more. Again, Goblin Tinker still seeing that level two. Quill Beast and Druids of the Talon Yeah, Quill Beast and Druid of the Talon just fighting and taking down so many of these units and so many of these um, buildings back over here. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down even further. Shockwave now comes in. A Demon Hunter now back into the fray. Is he going to be able to finish off any units? That is the big question. 375 mana. There was a mana burn there. Perhaps you should start mana burning the remaining Druid of the Talons as well to help, help your cause. 
And is that going to end up happening? There goes another Druid of the Talon. Spirit Walker could face some serious damage right there. Down to a Malik. Nope. Spirit Link already cast <clears throat> as the Tauren Chieftain ends up getting paths blocked by the Pocket Factory. Beautifully done as the Walkers are now just absolutely falling apart. I do not think... Um, I do not think that the Orc can really be able to recover from this. And we are going to be going into a Game 3 here. Um, a final Game 3. Oh, wait. Potion of Healing. Wow. Used just in time. Are we going to see the Blade Master now fall? Down to 31. Down to 28. Down to 2 hit points. Mana Burn finishes it off. And that, I believe, should be the GG. If the Torrent Chieftain, however, was able to get to level 5, that would be a different story. Um, but no, I don't think it's going to really even make it that far at all. All right. There is the GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game two.